We are gathered here today to talk about Darius Robinson, the edge out of the University of Missouri. To be honest, he has quickly turned into one of my favorite prospects. And to be even more honest, it happened very quickly because he started from the Senior Bowl. I noticed him there, dove into his film, and I was like, yeah, he one of them ones because like to be honest i don't watch a ton of missouri i mean sue me i guess whatever i'm gonna be honest here on this witness stand but regardless this guy is phenomenal this year he played a lot more on the edge versus playing in the interior in 2022 apparently according to his combine comments he was at 305 back then when he played on the interior this year and kind of at the uh senior bowl weighed in about 285 287 this guy is 6'5". He's built like a tank, bro. Like He's strong at the point of attack. Uh, he's great against the run. He really, really showed what was in that pass rush bag at the senior bowl. So I'm really excited to dive into this film today. But real quick, my name is Aaron Duncan with the NSA Blunt and Sports Talk. Recap and analysis of the NFL, particularly the Panthers. But I have a new affinity for this draft content. I'm documenting my process. Doing film breakdowns like this, rankings and all the above. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date on that. And also, take two seconds. Give this video a thumbs up. It's free. doesn't cost you a thing. And it really, really helps me out in engagement-wise. It helps me grow as I try to stretch my legs in this draft space. Because Darius Robinson is a guy that needs attention, which is why this is my first deep dive film breakdown for him. I'm going to show you his traits, what he does well, what I think he kind of projects to on the next level, and just a few weaknesses, of course. Got to gotta give you a full perspective of what I feel about this guy. And I honestly think that his draft stuff stock was probably in the second round, but after the senior bowl, when he showed they can actually get after the passer in a multitude of ways with that high motor and that, uh, that, that power rush ability, he could be a late to mid first rounder after all things are said and done at the combine, because when you're built like he is, is at that weight and size uh the combine typically does good wonders for you when you show up in t-shirt and shorts you know what i'm saying like these guys are meeting with these uh, uh these scouts in person they're on tv they're showing off their physique that they've been working on over the past x amount of years to get up to this point so he's one of those type of guys that when you see him walking off the bus on game day he's an intimidator any kind of guy that looks that big and that swole and shoulder pads is going to dominate the t-shirt olympics and pass the eye test so you may be asking at his size where does darius robinson best play and i think you this is the type of guy that you really can't box into one position he can line up outside like i said he played inside he can line up head up with the tackle he's very very good against the run so you can really move him around just based on down distance distance scenarios and matchups because i think he has the size and the skill set to be able to make plays and be a factor all over the line of scrimmage i do think he could be a traditional 4-3 dm but if you want to play in a 3-4 put him head up with the tackle on certain downs or stand him up on the outside he can do that as well if you play odd fronts he's definitely that type of guy as well because he's one of the best in this draft at stacking and shedding that's using his length to take control of the blockers shed them when the ball carrier gets there and make the play let's go ahead and get into the film and check that out so let's pick up here from the 2023 season versus the university of georgia he's going to be lined up here in a traditional 4-3 defensive end stand point they're gonna try to run a design cut back and give get a wham block from the tight end but with Darius robinson way too big way too strong boom takes it on with force ends up getting the running back as well let's look at it from a tight angle just to see how he does this so they're gonna bring number four right here in motion and boom look look how he takes it on with so much force he sees the guy coming because he squeezes the space. He sees that down block, recognizes that they're running at him, recognizes that the tight end is coming to get him. Boom, takes him on with force and is able to get rid of him. Full extension, get rid of him, get the running back and make the play. This is the type of tenacity that he plays with the run game. If you try to block him with the tight end, I do not advise doing that. Or if you do, you better bring your hard hat because Darius Robinson don't play them type of games. Let's go to the Florida game because once again, I tell you, trying to block him with a tight end is ill-advised in my opinion. I don't know why you would try to do it right here. He's going to have a tight end in the wing to his position. They're going to run the opposite way. And he's just going to attack this tight end and really push him all the way back into the running back and make him tackle his own man. Boom. Man will trip his own man like that That type of strength at the point of attack. Watch how he shocks him. Look at those hands. Look how he gets his hands on that tight end first. He wins by getting his shooting those hands first. Look, look, look where his hands are. Look where the tight end is. The hands, the tight end's hands are still by his hips. There's Robinson's hands are already inside at his chest. Uses his helmet to make impact. Shocks the blocker. Bench presses him all the way back into the backfield two yards back. And he uses him to trip that the uh trip is on man with the running back there's robinson is just a menace against tight ends watch him right here again from this angle from behind just uh just uh just the, the power look at the power coming off 
Look where, look where the line of scrimmage is, and look how far back in the backfield he pushes it. One, two yards. Using that leg to trip up the running back. That's light work. That's light work for Darius Robinson. Literally light work putting a tight end on him. I, like I said, I just don't think it's a great idea. The, the, just the pure strength and power is, is undeniable. So let's stay with the Florida game. Still in the running game, man. But like I said, he just dominates here. Let's show him setting the edge. They're going to try to run at him, which is not a good idea as well. He's going to do the same thing. Look how fast he gets those hands up. He gets those hands first. He get, Look at that leverage. Look how low he is. Coming off the ball, look how high that tackle is. Look where he gets his hands first inside, and he makes contact with that lineman first. Whoever gets those hands inside first and able to shoot those hands like that with good timing, they're usually going to win, and that's how he does right here. Boom, shocks this guy off his spot. Look, the line of scrimmage is the 20. Boom, knocks him back to the 18. He strings out the running back. The running back has to go back in the back. He misses this tackle because his running back has to loop around to get away from him takes the long way home which is losing yards pretty much but by the time he missed he missed that tackle but the help is able to get there this was third down so this is just not gonna work against him man and the help is coming there by the time if you can get that running back to have to change his track because he wants to go outside on the outside zone the any point for the running back is right off of tackle but if the tackle is getting shot into the backfield you have to expand that that's going to give the convoy more time to get there doesn't make the play which i like to see him do but like i said i still love him stringing that play out and making things happen let's watch it from this view one time real quick just to see him boom Look, get underneath that guy. Look at that leverage. Getting those hands in first. Inside, getting a push in the backfield. The running back has the bow out. Misses that play right there because of the stiff arm, but he's still able to set things up for the help to come and look, make that play. So we already knew coming into this that the run game is something that he was going to specialize in. Like I said, being able to control blockers, shooting those hands, being able to get great strength, and like I said, stack and shed. That's what stack and shed is. Shoot those hands in, control the guy. Once you see the running back come, get rid of that blocker and make the play. Or other times like we saw with him, you can just use the blocker to push right into the running back. So the running game is something that he really is going to be able to do from day one in the NFL. So let's look at some of the pass rush ability that he has all right let's go to the tennessee game man he's gonna be a three-man front and this, the way they played this front was a little bit weird because tennessee does a lot of things with pace so most of this game it was just a three-man front he lined up inside he didn't really line up outside a lot of the times but this way he's going to show just that power and that bull rush that he has he's going to completely overwhelm this tackle here so watch him slide outside the last second He's going to boom, get those hands inside like he always does, gets leverage. I don't like him putting his head down into that chest, though, because you can't always see. But he's able to try to get leverage on this bigger tackle, overwhelms him with his power, still has vision on the quarterback. Now he's able to get his head up and eyes on the quarterback, sees that the quarterback is stepping up in the pocket. So that's what you got to be able to do at some time. It's that second effort. You can get upfield and uh, you speed the power to get this guy and set him, look at the guy off balance. Make the quarterback uncomfortable, but keep vision on the quarterback. Keeping that vision on the quarterback, you're able to see him step up. And you're able to retrace that rush, get hands on him, and take him down, man. This is a great rush by him. Like I said, I do not like him putting that head down like that at times, but keeping that head up and using your hands, and use your hands, the powerful heavy hands, and watching that quarterback have to step up. You're able to retrace your rush. And really get the quarterback down. The power rush, power is a strip. Power is the name of his game. Whether it's in run or pass, power, power, power is what this guy's about. So we talked about the strength, but he does still have some finesse to his game. Being at 285, that's still crazy. The quickness that he shows at times here. Let's show how that quickness is an asset for him in the running game. Here against Florida, he's gonna have a zone coming his way again, and he's gonna just ole with an arm over, makes contact, shoots those hands, use that arm over to get back in position and gets the running back and makes the play. What a beautiful play right here. Just so quick with the hands. Use it, gets rid of that run, gets rid of the running back. Just makes the tackle seem pretty much unfair, inferior, man. Like the, the tackle really can't do anything with him. And he just continues to show that quickness it, it, it's, it's there as well. It is not all power. You're gearing up sometimes. You're trying to get that base underneath you to, so you don't get shocked and bowled into the backfield like we showed earlier. But that quickness continues to catch you people off guard. Arm over. Let's get back there and make the play. Just a quick move off the line of scrimmage. Look, ball is snap. Running back gets the ball. And he's already beating the guy. This is a scary sight as a running back because you have a hole there if that tackle is able to stay on there. But by the time you get the ball, the DN's already built, beat his guy. You know you just got to try to run as hard as you can. 
ends up being no game, man. The quickness is a factor as well in Darius Robinson's game. His background of playing inside allows you to get a little bit more versatile and creative with him. And I'm gonna look at here in this Georgia game, he's gonna be lined up three technique on the outside shade of the guard. And watch this move he does on this guard one-on-one. -on -one. I think he needs to be a little bit more. He tries to go power too much inside for me against some guards when he lines up there. But when he goes finesse and uses his quickness and hand fighting ability, he's able to really make things like this happen. Watch that arm over that he loves. He has that one go-to move. As you, as a pass rusher, you need a go-to move and be able to build your repertoire off of that. His go-to move is that arm over. Gets that arm over and watch him finish. Boom. <laughs> That's a violent finish at the quarterback. Watch the arm over, attacks half the man, arm over. He kind of gets a little catapult boost off his teammate there because once he bounces off of him, he uses that momentum to get to the quarterback, arm over, boom, gets there. The tackle didn't, I mean, the guard didn't know what hit him, and the ball has to come out quick, and it's an inaccurate pass because the quarterback knows that, man, inside pressure is, is not a quarterback's best friend. Arm over, gets there, boom. Look how fast and violent he finishes at the quarterback, man. Darius Robinson, man, he got, he's got that mean streak, man. He's got that dog in him. He has bad intentions when he gets to that quarterback. Let's stick with this Georgia matchup, man, because he had a pretty pretty good day. And his here is going to be lined up against the right tackle back on the edge. And this is going to be another move that he really likes. And it's that push pull and watch how fast he makes this thing happen Boom. his get off is not as, as amazing but the move that he's able to make is so so quick and so so fast it's just nasty work look at him on the right right end right here gets that wide alignment in the four point stance like i said his get off is not that amazing because like i said he still has that background of being more so of an inside guy but what he's able to do is boom get those hands again get those hands and he doesn't win with the timing of the hands but he's able to still use that look at that power Look at that power to lean on the guy, push him back off balance. And as that guy is trying to get there, look at that snatch. There's the push and there's the pull, arm over as usual. Get home, be violent at the quarterback when you get there. Watch it one more time, man, because this thing is pretty quick. Boom, push, pull, get there and be violent at the quarterback when you get there. Make them feel you, make them feel you. When you make the quarterback feel you, it's gonna affect him later on in the game. That's what Darius Robinson does, boom. Like I said, that, that hand technique is amazing. Like I said, he doesn't get his hands in there first. The tackle wins get with the timing, but those hands are outside. There's Robinson's hands are inside. Gets him out there with that right hand, pushes both, pushes him back with both hands, uses that outside left hand to pull him through. Arm over with the other one. Run the hoop. Let's get home. Let's get home. I, I, I love, I love, I love this guy, man. I love this guy, the inside, the outside. Whatever you want him to do, man, wherever you want him to line up, he can make things happen. Let's finish up with the Florida game, man. He's going to be standing up as an edge rusher, so I want you guys to see this as well, that he has the ability to do that. He's gonna They're going to put a tight end to his side, and he's going against 75 again. He's giving 75 a long day, but even though he flips sides, 75 came to that side as well. They have a tight end there to try to make the arc a little bit longer for him, but he's going to go with the cross chop here, and I want you to watch the hands. I'm going to play it fast one time and go back. We'll watch it slow. Cross chop. Gets around that hoop. Quarterback doesn't feel it. Finish. Finish there violently, man. Dennis Robinson had a hell of a senior year. So let's go back right here. Let's watch this cross chop by him. Watch the hands by the tackle. He's trying to shoot the hands. It's called a cross chop because you chop him across his hand. You chop, you cross him. Excuse me. You chop him across his hands. Chop. I, I, it's always funny to me to see that little jump and dip that they do when they do the cross chop, but it throws off the timing of them being able, the tackles being able to shoot their hands, and it gives you a chance to see where his hands are coming up. Give him half the man, give him that cross chop. He misses. Now let's get around the hoop. Finish. Finish at home to the quarterback, man. I love this, man. I, I love this effort. I love this high motor guy. This, this is what you want to do. All right, I lied. I got one more play because this is the type of effort and violence that you want to see from your guys and that you have that dog mentality in that you want to see them make plays. This guy, I told you, is a defensive tackle slash DN. Watch the hustle on here. He's going to be lined up on the left side here. He's going to track down his running back. The running back is going to break out, but watch how he hustles downfield, make the play 15, 20 yards downfield, and arrive with violence. Arrive with violence. Knock him into the <laughs> – knock him outside the paint. You know what I'm saying? You have a get-back coach over there but you can't get that far back nobody's that far back the get back coach boom look at that and look at everybody on the sideline looking at him bro like that's 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 gonna make the crowd go ooh boom just like 
That's that's crazy. Throw him out the club. Boom. Throw him out the club. My grandmama gave me that chain. Like, look at this, bro. Boom. This is 290 pounds running downfield, hustling. You you losing your balance. As soon as you catch it, he knocking you clean off your feet, man. That's what you want to see. Violence. Violence is an attitude adjuster. Boom. So Darius Robinson still, like I said, he has that interior uh, background and that out, uh, but he can play outside. So there are some drawbacks. He is a little bit stiffer of an athlete in terms of dropping his hips, running that hoop, you know what I'm saying, having a little bit more bend. But I think uh, he can play that outside if you want him to. He's going to be stronger at the point of attack. But when you have a guy that has that type of background, the reason why people think that he may, may end up inside more so a full-time and bulking up back to 305 pounds and playing inside is because of the agility and foot quickness that it requires to play out in space let's take a look at here against that florida game when you're playing against the zone read which is a college concept i understand you're going to have to be able to play on the edge and play in space so here it is right here the quarterback is going to run that zone read and they're going to read it off of him and boom he does what you're supposed to do he, he puts his arms out you squeeze and square when you see that down block go away and you see a zone read you stay square to the line of scrimmage which he does and you squeeze it down to get to get rid of that space and he has out, he's outside level. Once he reads that the quarterback has the ball, he sees it. He doesn't have the foot. Like, watch that foot get stuck in the ground. You want to see him jab it in the ground a little bit faster and change direction. You don't want to see that that little that little pause. Just that half a little step pause allows that quarterback to turn the corner on him. And it, it, like I said, he's still an interior type of guy. We'll see what he tests as far as the speed and acceleration. But look, he's in perfect position to make the play like he's supposed to. But he just doesn't have that foot quickness and agility to change direction and catch this guy on the corner, with the, uh, which is just a regular college quarterback. In the NFL, there's going to be faster guys running this with the RPO. There's going to be zone read guys you play against. There's going to be all kinds of different things to try to do with you out of space if they see that your feet get stuck in the ground at times because he has a good base. But that foot, that left foot, watch that left foot, it's, it's, it's stuck. He's not bouncing off. He's not cutting off of it. Boom. And he's not able to change direction as fast as you would like for a guy playing on the edge all the time. He gets outran there. So that's a concern for me just because of, like I said, he has that background. He is a little bit heavier of an athlete. He's not as slew footed as some of these 250 pound, 260 pound edges that we see in the modern NFL. But I still like Darius Robinson. And I briefly talked about it before. The only other thing is inside, he needs to just have a better rush plan, which is something that you can just coach into him easily. He tries to use power too much inside. And I don't think he's very that strong to be able to overpower guards all the time. But he definitely has the quickness and the finesse and the hand fighting like I showed to be able to beat these interior offensive linemen with pass rush moves. So if he just used more of a finesse inside and adds more of a finesse game for his inside rush, I think on third downs, if you want to put him inside, if you have a NASCAR package, you bring in a pure pass rush on third down to be outside let him do that you can line him on the outside on rundowns and if you want him to be strong at the point of attack but also get after the passer he can do that as well i look for him to be a good fit on my favorite team the carolina panthers like i said because of that ability to do that stacking shed and be able to kick inside if you need to on third down and have a better interior rush to go along with Derek brown and have brian burns on the outside or you can let him be a bookend with brian burns there with the high mortar be a power offset on one side and have that speed rusher with Brian Burns there. Let him collapse the pocket. Brian Burns can be that cleanup guy. You can do some things with this guy and the versatility that he would bring to the Panthers offense, I mean defense, would be something I would love to see. You guys let me know down below in the comments how you feeling about uh, Darius Robinson after this film breakdown. What do you think he projects as? Do you think he can play? inside do you think it'll be full-time outside do you think it'll be a little bit of both i want to get you guys thoughts down below in the comments but please make sure you hit that subscribe button i really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching i'll see you next time peace